Hello everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how chlorophyll and sea surface temperature data can be retrieved. For this we go to the website Ocean Color of NASA and we choose data and the level 3 browser. Level 3 browser shows you data on a temporal and spatial scale which is interesting for time series. I'm gonna stick with this browser for this tutorial. The process is more or less the same for chlorophyll and sea surface temperature. I'm going to show you first the chlorophyll concentration. For the product status here we stick with standard. That means that the data you're about to extract is approved by the scientific community. Then this sensor or the satellite we choose Modis Terra. It measures chlorophyll and sea surface temperature. I'm going to choose chlorophyll and then you can choose your time periods so you can do it every eight days or on an annual basis i'm gonna go for the monthly basis you can choose the resolution and then you go you choose your time frame and here i'm gonna go for one month uh, one year like this and then it gives you all the maps each month of the chlorophyll concentration. If you want to download only one map, you can click on it, wait till it's fully loaded, uh, right click and save it as a PNG. If you won't want to download them all, you can click on this extract or download button. And then you have to define again the characteristics and you choose your type. If you only want data, you choose bins. Or if you want your data accompanied by the maps, you choose Mapped 2. And then you click on this download button. If you only want this data for a specific geographical location, you can pinpoint the location on this map or fill out the coordinates and then download your data again. The same goes for the sea surface temperature, more or less. So... The only thing you have to change is the products. Instead of chlorophyll, you choose sea surface temperature, daytime. You can also choose the nighttime. Here I'm going to choose your annual basis for 18 years. And here you can see the evolution of sea surface temperature over 18 years. Again, you can download them individually by clicking on the picture or extract this button. I hope you learned something and thank you for listening.